As the holiday season comes to an end, some businesses across the country are preparing for a decline in customers. According to Forbes, January is usually a slow month for retail and restaurants due to the big year-end discounts. Lauren Davis tells us how one small business plans to beat the post-holiday slump. By the Batch Bakery and Eatery on Broadway in Bismarck opened in 2019. The restaurant serves up hot breakfast and lunch, an assortment of baked goods, plus catering orders. Oh my, we were overwhelmed. Customers, our customer base is so wonderful for us for, and to us. Shop local, shop small. But thankfully for Manly, the recent winter weather and poor road conditions didn't keep people away. Manly says she had a decent crowd over the last two months, and that's even including when she had to close her doors due to the December 16th blizzard. Not only is she doing well, she's doing better than last year. I think we're up 25% from where we were last year at the same time. People were buying pastries for their holiday meals at home. Cookies, cookies, more cookies. Um, seems like Thanksgiving is more like a pie, buns type of holiday. This was all about the cookies, of course, dinner rolls, karma rolls, cinnamon rolls. That was really what, all we've done for the last couple months. But after the holiday season, many restaurants and businesses see a decline in customers and business overall. And Manly says it's no different here. We do a regular catering, so hopefully people are picking us for their caters. We always notice a decline in January. You know, we'll just continue supplying the same stuff we're doing and hopefully people can use it for their catering needs. And while business has been good, Manly says she's seen shortages in other areas. Thankfully, I have workers that are that are here and steady and very constant, finally. Um, yeah, we have experienced product shortages, though. Uh, butter, whipping cream, um, the costs are through the roof. It takes a little while to get them, but uh, I'm resilient. I made it work. Manly says it's important for people to shop local because it supports the livelihood of the owners and everyone else who works there. For KX News, I'm Lauren Davis. As we mentioned, January and February are tough for a small business, but help is available. It may be in the form of a grant, a loan, or a leg up competing in a difficult business environment. For more information on these small business grants and opportunities, you can visit our website, kxnet.com.